Hey, Gabby, how are you? Hello. Fine. What did you do today? Mm, only a study, another course. Only what? Uh, I study another course in the morning. What class? Uh, is for telemarketing. Oh, okay. With yeah. Agape or with a call center or what? Agape. With Agape? Yes. Mm -hmm. I know the course. Uh, uh, yeah. Ya sé cuál es. <laughs> English. Yes, with Agape. Right? Agape is telemarketing called a call center. They have Agape and they work with a German company also. Oh. You work with Agape Spanish or Agape English? Uh, Agape Spanish. In Santa Tecla. Uh, Sonsonate. In Sonsonate, okay. Yeah. Yes, they have they have many different places where they have Agape training. It's for. <laughs> It's for four weeks, correct? Yes. Yep. Yes. Yes. I, yes, I know which one. When did you begin? Um, um, I don't remember exactly. Okay. So but I finished in, in in Saturday. Oh wow. Yes. Hey, and then the money, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. Okay. And did you like the training? Yes, I liked. Okay. Good. Okay. I see we have Osman, Carlos, and Maybelline. Hello. Welcome. Hello, teacher. Hello. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Well, what are you, teacher? Excellent. 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 Wow. It's, it's nice. It's great. It's uh. Today is Wednesday. It's good. Yes. It's half the week we are finished. Yes. So this is the week passed very fast. Super, super fast. So yes, super fast. That's the important part. Okay. So before we continue, um, are there any questions, any comments about the platform, exercises, or any areas that are difficult? No. No, teacher. No? No. Okay. Good. Okay. Hang on. Let me put. Okay. So let's take a look. We're going to have a few things. We were just talking about our days and how, how was your day and what happened. Similar. So the same thing. What we're going to do with our partners, we're going to join up our partners and just take a moment and talk. But we want to make sure that we have other types of questions, right? So what are some other questions that we can ask our partners? What are some other questions? We can we can ask a, a double question. Okay, we can ask. For example, uh, imagine I'm your partner. What do you ask me? Go ahead. Imagine I'm your partner. What uh, do you ask? Me? Why why didn't you work today? Yesterday. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Why didn't you work yesterday? Or why didn't oh, you? Come? What do you like in your free time? Okay. What do you like in your free time? Okay. Good. Okay. So, okay, we're gonna have, we're gonna try a little bit about our day first, and then we're going to take a, a moment and go into yesterday's topic. But first, just talking about with WH, okay? Uh, where, what did you have? Where did you go? What did you do today? What was the report? Oh, I had to make phone calls. Oh, who did you call? How long were the conversations? Uh, how many emails did you make? 
okay? How much do you spend on nudge? The different, the idea is to be creative and have different questions. It's okay? Okay, Jim. Yes. Somebody said teacher, yes? Question? Okay, no questions, let's go. Daniel, I'll send you to a group. Luz, I'll send you to a group. Yancy, I'll send you to a group. 
<laughs> okay, everybody's back. Good. So we have a few things we talked a little bit about with our partners. Uh, we are uh, back. So now we are ready to begin our topics from yesterday and practice a little bit more. Yesterday, we had a little bit of difficulty um, with this difficult topic, right? The simple past and present perfect, but it's only difficult because we don't practice. Right. So right now, what we want to do is we want to create questions with have and you want to talk about different experiences. For example, here, have you ever eaten snails? Have you ever been to a Vietnamese restaurant? OK, that's what we're going to do in this moment. We are going to create questions with have. The first with our partner is to make sure that we have the correct questions with have. So what is the grammar is simple. Okay, the grammar I'm going to put in the chat to help us remember. Okay, it's half plus subject. Uh, then, if you want, the verb is not necessary, but you can use the word ever, which is very common in English, or only go for the verb in past participle. I can see the chat. Uh, is right there okay so as an example in the have, question have you uh, ever gone to a let me see um i don't know maybe to la union let's go with la union in this one okay yeah and we can also say the same meaning yeah. have you gone to yeah. la union as verb in past participle. Okay. It's okay how we make the questions? Going to... <laughs> God bless you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. So now let's try. Okay. Let's see if we have the correct questions. Go ahead, make one. Only make one question and put in the chat. Let's make sure that everybody is correct. Mm. How do we make it? Go ahead, put in the chat, it's no problem. Please. Correct, Eugenia. Correct, Maria Ruth. Correct, Daniel. Go ahead, everyone, everyone, everyone. Go, go, go. Put in the chat. Correct, Laura. Go ahead and make the question, make the question. So, so Cecilia, no, no, hace, right? I, is remember the V. I think it's only for the spelling. Right? Okay. It's, I think it's for the spelling, no problem. Mm -hmm. teclado que me lo cambia. Okay. Hey, that's correct, Carlos. Have you, has he ever eaten mataniños? <laughs> uh -huh. Correct, Julio, correct. Correct, Maybelline. 
correct garden. Correct Miguel. Correct Yancy. The one that I didn't see, let's see, Luz. I don't see Luz. Correct uh, Gabriela. Okay, so now we understand. And the answers, that's what we're going to do. We're going to practice making the questions and asking with our partners. Now, sure. when you, yes. A question. Eh, es en el caso que, que, o sea, la pregunta la hiciera por otra persona, eh, si se puede con el has, la pregunta empezaría con el has. Correct. No. O sea, he, en mi caso sería, has he ever driven motorcycle, for example? Correct. Correct. Has he ever has he ever driven a motorcycle? This is the correct way. Mm -hmm. Okay. Igual puedo preguntar de tu mamá, tu papá. Oh, uh, uh, tu hermano, tu hermana, tu compañero de trabajo. Exactly. Have they ever helped you? Have uh, has your mom ever gone to another country? Have you ever bought a present for Mother's Day? Anything. The idea is we want to practice only a few minutes asking and answering the question. Remember, in the answer, I can use the two. For example, that Carlos has, Carlos Membraño has, have you ever seen the moon? I can answer, yes, I have. Yes, I have. I saw the moon yesterday. Specific, the time, right? Or no specific, only, yes, I have. I have seen the moon many times. No specific. It's okay, the difference? Yes, it's okay how to answer the question. We are ready? Uh, could you give us uh, an, another example? Of course, let's look in the chat. In the chat, we have Gabriela. Have you ever attended the class in the morning? Oh, I can have two answers, right? The first answer, no, is the answer easy. No, example, no, I have it. Or the answer, yes, ah, yes, I have. And then I have attended or I no, I have, yes, yes, I have. I attended the class, for example, last week. Remember, the first is the experience. Yes, I have the experience or no, I don't have the experience. And then the second is you can give more information, the details. Okay, I am ready. Okay, now let's practice with our partners. We're gonna take a few moments and we want to practice asking and answering in the chat. You see, you have lots and lots of questions. It's possible to make many, many, many questions. Okay. Okay, all right. I think everybody received the invitation. Good. Except for maybe Julio. Let's see. Let's try with Julio.
Hello, everyone. What do you Okay, do you feel more comfortable now? It's okay how to make the questions, how to make the answers? Yes. I feel that we are growing in English. Yes. Excellent. Excellent. Miss, can you answer uh, when something asks, um, have you ever eaten exotic food? Exotic food? No, I ha I haven't, but I hope 
O sea, como digo, espero no comerlo nunca. I hope to, I hope to never, never eat. eat. To it never eat. Ok, yes. Mm -hmm. I hope to never eat. Mm -hmm. Yes. And, and then you put the word, I hope to never eat uh, exotic food. I know, I hope never to eat it or that, uh -huh. Okay, great. All right, now we continue with our next topic. The next topic is for food recipes and sequence, okay? Here, who would like to read the objective? This is the new objective now in 4.3. Who would like to read? May I read? Yes, please. Sequency adverbs are used to help describe a progression of events, often used in receipts or instruction sequence, adverbs such as first, then, next, after that, and finally contain information about the order of action and create sequence adverbs. This lesson includes an English oral comprehension exer exercise. Siento que te saltaste un gran paso. Ok. Sí. sí. <laughs> About the order of action and create natural transition in writing. Yes. In this lesson from English teacher Joy Sand, practice describing recipes, recipes in recipes. English using recipes. recipes in English using sequenced adverbs. This lesson includes an English oral comprehension exercise. Okay, thank you. There, that's correct. Good. Remember, <laughs> here is recipes. 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 Good. And recipes are, for example, this. This is a recipe. The ingredients and the steps. And what are we going to learn today? We are going to learn how to use the sequence. For example, First, then, next, after that, and finally. Okay. The first is number one. This is the idea. First is number one. Finally is the last one. We finish with finally. The others, then, next, after that, is okay. We can mix. But first and finally, you cannot mix. First is at the beginning. Finally is at the end. The others, you can change. Okay. Here, we're going to watch just a little bit of the video. Let's watch. By the end of this class, you'll be able to describe how to prepare food using sequence adverbs. For example, you'll be able to take a recipe written on a piece of paper and be able to explain it. In order to illustrate this idea, let me play an audio program so that you can see how this topic is used. This is really easy. First, you put a little oil in a pan, then heat the oil. Next, put in the kernels and cover the pan. When the kernels start to pop, shake the pan gently every few seconds. In about a minute, the popping will slowly stop. After that, turn off the heat and pour it into a bowl. Finally, put a little salt on it and enjoy. I love this. So you see, you yes. use the first, then, next for sequence, for order, for instructions. In the first listening, what are they describing? Are they describing popcorn. bagels? How to popcorn. do popcorn. popcorn. Excellent. How to do popcorn. Excellent. Now listen, number two. What is number two? Snack. First, take an avocado and mash it. Next, you chop half a tomato and half an onion and add them to the avocado. After that, you chop a little cilantro and add that in. Then, put in some lemon or lime juice. Finally, add a little salt, pepper, and of course, hot sauce. Mmm, it's great with chips. <laughs> what was number two? 
Guacamole. Guacamole. Ah, super easy, super easy. I, I, ¿Cuál es el siguiente? A ver, a ver, ¿quién adivina? What's number three? Um, pizza. 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 Okay, let's listen. Let's check. A friend from New York City taught me how to make this. First, cut it in half, then toast it. After that, let it cool a little and then spread cream cheese on it. It's really good for breakfast, but you can eat it anytime. Uh, what was number three? Toasted bagel. Toasted bagel. Toasted bagel. <laughs> Los engañó. <laughs> That's correct, toasted bagel. So what are the sequence adverbs? Those are the ones that we listen. For example, first, then next, after that, and finally. Remember, first and finally is not possible to change. It's not correct to put in different order. But then next, after that, it's okay. You can mix, it's no problem. It's okay, the idea, the meaning first, then next, after that, finally? Yes. Any questions? No. Teacher? Yes. Question. Uh, we, we, can, we can use uh, the rule is first, then next, but... Uh, Product next week we can use uh, them. Yes, yes, yes. We, we can mix. Uh, you this, can mix. Uh, right. Yes, correct. You can mix. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's no obligation disorder. Is okay. only the obligation only is first, first and, one, final. And, final. and finally and finally. Finally, yes. Only that. Thank the you. others you can mix. So remember, the ingredients, okay, is the normal. For example, three tablespoons, two, two uh, tablespoons, one, the different ingredients. These are for the different recipes. You see here, you can have, these are the words to use for the, for the order, for the instructions, but it's not obligation, only those. You can change different orders. It's okay? Okay. Okay. So here is the, the, the idea. First, always at the beginning. Finally, always at the end. Then next and after that, no problem. You interchange, you, you mix. Okay. Okay. So now what are we going to do? Now you're going to practice with your partner. For example, you're going to say how to make something. Anything you want, pupusas, milkshake, a sandwich, whatever. Remember, first, okay, and finally, not change. The others, yes. Okay. So I want to make something. First, okay, first I, I put the rice, okay, first I wash the rice, okay. Then I put butter in the pan and I heat it. After that, I put onions and cook for a few minutes. Next, I put the rice in the pan and I mix. After that, I add salt, carrots, and tomato, and I put the water. Then I cover. Finally, I wait 30 minutes and the rice is finished. You can cook. You can cook. Yes, mejor que mi esposa. Yes, yes. Yo le enseñé a ella a cocinar. Yes. It's good. Cuidado con las cacerolas, teacher. Híjole. Ah, volando por ahí. No, 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 es cierto, es cierto. Es que yo, soy, yo sí estudié seis meses para ser chef. Entonces, de verdad, le tuve que enseñar a ella. Uh -huh. I like to cook. Que cuando uno es soltero, tienes dos opciones, maruchan o comer bien. Así que. <risa> All right. Entonces, 
primero que vamos a hacer ahorita, aquí estamos todos en grupo, aquí estamos. Van a tener dos minutos, vamos ahorita, tienen dos minutos para buscar vocabulario para su receta. Aquí estoy yo primero para ayudarles a todos. En dos minutos exacto, vamos al grupo a dar y a explicar las indicaciones como el ejemplo. Pero piensen en algo y ahorita estamos aquí en Google, eh, with me, aquí están los demás compañeros, cómo ne o qué necesitan decir, aquí estamos. Pero después, let's go. So you have two minutes. I give you two minutes. How do you say revolver? Revolves. Mix. Mix. What? Mix. Mix. Correct. Mix. Mix. Mm -hmm. Okay, you want? You ready? Ham. 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 Uh, teacher, uh, what do you say? Grams. 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 Mm -hmm. 12 segundos. Mucho. No les miento. Yo, de verdad, de verdad, tengo el tiempo. Solo para decir cómo hago chocolate, sí. Seven, six. Two, one, hey, just the, okay, that's it. All right, time to go to the groups. All right, now you and your partners explain how to prepare the ingredient, the, the recipe. Okay, we're ready? Yes. Yes. Excellent. Good. Okay. Uh, teacher? Yes. Uh, if I want to say pan de caja, bread, rodaja de pan, bread, pan de caja is bread, bread, yes, correct, pan de caja, bread. Y si yo quiero decir rodaja de pepino o una rodaja de Slices. Slice. Slice. Ah, pues correct. Thank you. You're welcome. Let's go. Laura, what happened? Laura, any questions? Okay.
Okay, Karen, you ready? I think so. Okay, Karen, you begin. Okay, I first I put the flour and next I add the butter and salt. And after that, I put sugar and remove and, and remove. And after that, put water and I mix until a dough is made. I put it in a mold and I add sauce, sauce, cheese, jam, and other vegetable. After that, I put in the oven and finally wait 20 minutes. Thank you very much, Karen. You are making a pizza. Yes. Excellent. Only two things that we need to correct. Very good, Karen. Okay. Pronunciation, you see in the chat. Pronunciation, do. 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 Correct. Okay. And the other is ham. Ha. Not ham. 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 Okay. ham. Okay. Excellent, Karen. Select the next person, Karen. Who's next? Mm, Daniel. Daniel, excellent. Okay, Daniel. Hello, hello. Sorry. No problem, Daniel. Go ahead, Daniel. Okay. Uh, how to mix mojito cubano? Okay. First, uh, in a glass, we put the mint. Uh, with branch include uh, breaking in with our hands. Next, uh, add the two tablespoons of white or light brown sugar. And then add the two tablespoons, I'm oh, sorry. And then we put ice. Uh, after that, uh, two chest of side of half the glass. And finally, we decorate with a spring of mine, mint and a lean wish and a straw. Okay. What, the last part, only the last part, Daniel. You put the mint and what, and finally what? And we decorate with a, a, a waist lean and a straw. What is the white slim, Daniel? Sorry? That uh, before the straw, you say we put in a white slim? No, we decorate it with a spring of mint. Ah, mm -hmm. okay, okay, okay. I got it, I got it. Excellent, excellent, okay. Good, thank you, Daniel, I understand. Okay. Excellent, yes, okay. Uh, the pronunciation, Daniel, two words, table, spoon, Tablespoon. 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 Mm -hmm. Correct. And the other pronunciation, decorate. Decorate with. Decorate. Uh huh. Excellent. Excellent, okay. Daniel. All right, Daniel, who is next? Where? Hi, teacher. Okay, Osman. Go ahead. Okay, Osman. <laughs> okay. Well, uh... My example was a uh, cocktail de fruit. I oh, mean, uh, cocktail de fruit. Ah, fruit. fruit. Okay. Fruit. Yes. Uh, first, uh, we, we can we can take uh, one one melon, one one apple, one banana, uh, one mango, uh, one watermelon. Then uh, we wash all fruit. Uh, next. We we take a meal and cut into small pieces all, all fruit. Then uh, we have to mix, but we mix uh, all fruit. Uh, finally, uh, we can put honey over the fruit, and the cocktail the fruit is ready. Okay, very good. Very good, Osman. Only one order is the fruit cocktail. The fruit, the cocktail. fruit cocktail. Exactly. Okay. Thanks, Excellent. Thanks. 
All right, Osman, good job. Who's next, Osman? Select the next. Eugenia. Uh, no, no. uh, mm -hmm. Eugenia, all right. My recipe is to make hot cake or pancakes. Mm -hmm. um, the ingredients are two cups of the pancake mix, one cup of milk, and two eggs. Uh, first, you mix all the ingredients in a bowl, but don't overdo it. And next, you heat the griddle or fry pan over a uh, medium heat. Next, you add a little, little bit of oil, a little bit of oil, and put a one quarter cup uh, for the mix and the griddle. Then cook it until the edge uh, are dry and bubble form on the top. And flip them to cook the other side. And finally, serve them with honey. Okay, okay. very nice, very nice. <laughs> Eugenia, how do you say miel in English? How do you say miel in English? Do you use honey, miel de abeja? How do you say miel para pancakes? Oh, the maple. Oh, good. Okay, good. But I, I don't like maple. <laughs> no problem. No problem. The I word is syrup. Syrup. Mm -hmm. Syrup. Okay. Excellent. Very good, Eugenia. Select the next person. Oh, let me see. Um, got it? Karen, okay. Karen was the first one. So I think there's only one Karen, right? Okay. And then also Maybelline. Okay, good job. Maybelline. Okay. Um, my recipe is how to prepare a sandwich. Mm -hmm. Okay. First, put the bread in the plate. And then put the mayo, ketchup, most, mustard in the bread. And next put the cheese and the ham in the bread. After that, put the slice of tomato or cucumber or your favorite ingredients in the bread. And finally, close the sandwich and that's it. <laughs> 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 okay all right good Maybelline this is the idea good 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 all right guys now we're going to go with our next topic now we're on 4.5 this was the 4.4 was the sequence adverbs now 4.5 with our partner we want to read and we want to answer the questions look Look at the vocabulary, look at the adverbs, check the four, which are the correct ones, okay? So for this, with our partners, only a few minutes, we, we do 4.5 with our partners. Okay. Laura, you okay?
Okay, we're ready. Let's try. Number one, which snack does this recipe describe? Popcorn. Super easy. All right. <laughs> Number two, what is the last step in making guacamole dip? Finally, Finally and salt, salt, pepper, and salt. Great. Number three, what is the first step in making toasted bagel? First, good. First, good. Mm -hmm. Very first. Okay. And number four, which sequent adverb is not first interchangeable? And finally. First and finally. First and finally. How do you say, teacher? Pepper or pepper? Pepper. 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 Okay. So salt, pepper, and hot sauce. Mm -hmm. How do you a say question, interchangeable? interchangeable or, or common? Sorry, sorry, what? How do you eh. say interchangeable or ah, common? Correct, correct. Interchangeable. 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 Okay. Yeah. How do we introduce oregano? And then uh, oregano is oregano. Oregano is oregano. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That one, no problem. Mm -hmm. And the same cilantro. Cilantro. Yep. Mm -hmm. What is basil? Basil. Basil. Albahaca. Oh. Mm -hmm. What does it mean? Bagel. Bagel. B A B E O. Bagel. Bagel. ¿Qué es eso? What that? Is the bagel? El bagel. Kind of bread. The type of bread. Yes. It's, Hello, everyone. It's a donut, but no sweet. <laughs> like a donut, I guess. This is the bagel. In Super Selectos, they have donut? it. Donut. Donut? No. 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 It's not like no, a donut. It's just a, a kind of, of fine bread, no. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. the shape of donna. Mm -hmm. Special bread. Special bread. Yes. yes, like a special bread. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Um, we are going to continue tomorrow. Today we finish unit four. So excellent job. I okay. see you guys tomorrow. Thank you. Okay. Bye. 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 Bye